Hey y'all, it's Courtney from Green Table of Six. I'm back. Um, I We made it through the holidays. It was very hectic, which is why Vlogmas kind of got trashed. But anyway, I'm moving on. It's a new year and a new month. And so I've decided to start Operation Clean Out and Declutter. Um, I'm starting with my downstairs closet because it's a hot mess. I want to be able to put our coats and the kids book bags in the closet but right now nothing can none of that is happening so today we're gonna start with this closet down here that I've been putting off for months probably closer to a year um, but it's time I'm tired of things piling up in my dining room and just <clears throat> I'm over it so we're gonna start cleaning this closet out today. I'm giving myself about, it's 11.15 now. I'm gonna get myself to one o'clock. Hopefully I can get it done. And what I don't get done, <clears throat> I will put off until tomorrow. But my goal is to have it done for the kids to start back to school. Um, so yeah, let's get started. All right, y'all. So here is the closet. I'm so embarrassed, OMG. Um, as you can see, it's just stuff piled, random hangers. I do have a, a couple of my coats and some coats that are too small for the kids. Um, but it's this section down here <laughs> that we kind of just stuffed things into. I cleaned out my dining room and so the things that I wasn't ready to throw away I put in here <laughs> as you can see so I'm about to pull everything out um, so I can get started with the cleanup I got the top of the closet cleaned out and as I was getting that stuff out, it didn't really take me long. Most of it was trash, but I realized that one, I used to be, and I still enjoy it, crafting, but I would just keep things to maybe work on later and that kind of thing. <clears throat> and I've been watching Hoarders <laughs> and a lot of the things that they say, I found myself saying, and I do not want to become a hoarder. So. Like I said, a lot of this stuff is going to the trash or to donations. Um, I was also that mom that kept almost everything. Hence, this bag of things that my kids made at school. So I'm going to go through this. Some of it I will keep because I have boxes of their things um, in the garage. Things from school that I want to keep. But some of it just needs to go out. So I just stopped to say that real quick. I'm going to finish. Um, I'm working in levels, so I started at the top. Now I'm going to tackle um, the, I don't know, what do you call this? This part. So I'm going to tackle that, and then hopefully I'll be done by one o'clock. All right. I'm scared, y'all. <laughs> Excuse me. Now the hard part. I've been putting this off for a long time. It's a mess. Um, yeah. We're going to get it done, though. Right? Yep. Right.
right, I done worked up a sweat. I pretty much got everything cleaned out. This stuff is pretty much trash. There are a couple things I got to get out of there. Um, but for the most part, everything is cleaned out. Now, <laughs> look at this. Ignore that. I'm going to get to that uh, in a minute. But this is my trash pile. This is a giveaway pile and then those things over here are things that I'm gonna wash some of it is giveaway some of it I have to see if Kenzie wants and then these are um, some bins and boxes that I need to go through 90% of it is probably trash but I um, some of it is like Kennedy's little thing from preschool and it has when she was in 4K and all about me. The teacher kind of made like a portfolio of her things throughout the year. So I'm, I'm definitely keeping this. So that's why I got to go through this stuff. But I'm excited. All right. So I'm about to sort through these boxes. It is, I don't have my glasses on. It's like 12 o'clock. So I have about another hour to get all this stuff done. Um... Like I said, most of, most of this stuff is trash, so it shouldn't take me too long. Um, my dilemma is finding a bag big enough to fit all this trash in. Um, Blake had practice, but when they get back, I'm going to take um, just go ahead and take it out to the dump. No need to wait for the trash pickup next week. We're going to get it out of here. Um, so, yeah, let me get started with this. I got somebody who wants to help who's currently going through the trash, finding things that she wants. No, that's old. We'll take the, the toys out, but just leave it in there for right now because I got to get this stuff together, okay? I, well, you can go finish coloring. Fallon, don't open that. So, yeah, I'm hoping I'll be done by one. <laughs> Let's get to it. It is one o'clock and I'm pretty much done. I have one, two, three, four, five, five bags in a box of trash, big bags, like the lawn, um, the lawn bags that you use to put leaves and stuff in, five of those. Um, so this is what the closet is looking like now. It is pretty much cleaned out. I did put some of my workout stuff, heavy, heavy weights in it. Some of my workout stuff in here. And then the stuff, I didn't get a chance to go through um, this bag of Kennedy's like stuff from preschool, but I'll go through that later. And so I'm going to give myself, I'm going to give myself another 30 minutes to get the floor swept up and get some of the stuff back in the closet and then I'll be done so I don't have to worry about it. But y'all look what I found in the closet from like two Christmases ago. Money. Money. This was a gift from my grandparents to Blake and it was just in the closet. So what I'm gonna do is they each have envelopes with money, money that they get for Christmas and birthdays and stuff. I'm just gonna stick it in there. Um, but yeah, it's like $20 in here. <laughs> That's what happens when you clean stuff out. So I'm excited. My plan is to put up some puck lights in the closet because as you can see, it's kind of dark. So I got some batteries and I'm going to figure out where to put those. And then I think I have these, um, 
for an ironing board, but I think it's too high up. So I was going to put their book bags on there, but it's too high up. So I got to figure something else out for their book bags. Like maybe just some command strips on the door so their book bags aren't just sprawled. But yeah, I pretty much did it. I'm going to add 30 minutes to my time so I can get this stuff cleaned up and then I'm going to tackle the kitchen. All right, so I finally finished. It is 1.32. I got everything cleaned out. Um, this right here is a school supplies and then the filters for our uh, HVAC system, I think that's what you call it. Um, my candles and then I finally able to um, hang up the coats. Down here, I put a basket that we can keep our blankets in. Fallon convinced me to um, keep that Play-Doh, but they can't play with Play-Doh upstairs, so that's why I'm putting it down here. Um, we can fit our vacuum cleaner in here, hallelujah. And then I just set Blake's book bag on top of my workout stuff um, because, like I was saying, oops, this, um, I plan on getting some command strips to put at least two on the door so they're able to reach them because they're too high right now. I just put them up there to um, get them out of the dining room. So, yay, closet is clean. So this is what I got from the clean out. All of this right here, these bags, um, this stuff that goes to a pack and play that we already gave away, some direct TV stuff. Um, that's all going to the trash. And then this little um, corner right here is just some giveaway stuff. A lot of baby stuff. I figure somebody can use. Ignore this. <laughs> Look, it's a work in progress around here. All right, so closet number one is done. Thank God. Um, I just wanted to sit down and talk to you guys for a minute about um getting rid of stuff like i said i have been holding on to that stuff in that closet for at least a year some of it longer than that some of it has probably been in there since we moved now i have cleaned it out um since we've been in the house but just not to this level so my mindset when i was going into the this cleaning out of the closet was if i haven't touched it looked at it or anything in three to six months it's going so <laughs> that's why there's so much um so many bags of trash a lot of it was old mail um, my mom was a teacher so when she cleaned out her classroom she gave me um you know school supplies and things and i did keep some because the kids can use them but i don't know about y'all but i grew up in a family where you just hold on to things whether it's a, a box of pencils or um some rusted scissors or whatever i just grew up holding on to things because you never know when you might need it and i recently have decided to get out of that mindset if something is sitting in the closet for over a year what am i keeping it for it's not getting used it's just sitting there and i think me watching quarters has really like fueled my fire with this even though i've started way before today but it's just time time to get this clutter and things that we are not using out of the house so today we did my downstairs hallway closet the next step is to do Chandler's closet, Chandler and Fallon's closet in their room, and then Kennedy's closet. And then y'all got a whole bunch of stuff that I need to, to declutter. My pantry, my medicine cabinets, all of that. So we're, I'm going to take you guys along on this journey with me because I'm not a New Year's resolution person per se, but I do recognize things that are in my life that although I try to keep the house tidy, uh, you know, to a certain extent, it's easy to hide stuff behind doors. So I'm tired of hiding the things behind the doors and I want my kids to learn these systems. So hopefully now that this hallway closet is cleaned out, they will understand that 
when you come in, you hang your coat up. I know it's going to take some time because they're just used to throwing their coat on the couch, on the table or whatever. So, you know, that's my fault. But we're creating new systems. It's time. And I don't want them to grow up with the mentality that hold on to something. Because what are you holding on to it for? I had stuff that I had bought from Dollar Tree three years ago that I was holding on to for like, oh, I can use this for another birthday party. Birthdays came and went, never used it. So I just wanted to hop on to say that I am about to go take a break. <laughs> I am tired. I was sweating. I was, my back is hurting. So it was, it was some work, but I'm glad I got it done and I'm, it's going to stay like this. Okay. I said it. All right. I will talk to you guys later. Thanks so much for watching. And don't forget to subscribe. Let me know some organization systems that you use in your house that are effective because I'm always looking for new ideas. Um, like I said, this is going to be a series. So please stay tuned because we got a lot of decluttering to do. So I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.